All right, hi everyone. Uh, I'm doing my reading outside today for the September 1st, 2016 um, Dark Moon and Solar Eclipse. Okay, so I want to start off showing you guys the astrology of this. And you see that we have this eclipse is occurring in the constellation Leo, okay? The sun and the moon in Leo. All right. That tells me right away that the energy of this eclipse is mostly going to be about uh, eclipses are about endings and new beginnings. Okay, they're doorways, they're thresholds of energy. They're about transformation and change. The fact that this is taking place in Leo tells me that this is all about your empowerment. Okay, so. Uh, Basically, wherever it is that there are blocks to your power. I'm sorry, y'all. There's mosquitoes out here that are kind of distracting me now. But wherever it is that there's blocks to your personal empowerment, that's where we're going to see the most uh, focus of energy right now of these transitions and changes taking place. Okay? So, just be advised and aware of that. Uh, I do want to mention in this Mercury retrograde as well, um, which is from the August 30th to September 22nd, uh, Mercury is retrograde, but I want to point out to you guys that um, it Mercury is conjunct Venus and Jupiter in Virgo during this retrograde, okay? And that's actually, um, usually I do, I very... Uh, weary of Mercury retrogrades because Mercury is my ruling planet as a Gemini, but in this particular case, Mercury is conjunct with Jupiter and Venus, and Jupiter and Venus are known as the planets of good luck and good fortune, okay? They're the greater and lesser benefactors, as they're called. So, basically, my point is that this Mercury retrograde is going to basically be counterbalanced by the fact that it is conjunct with these other two planets. Let me get right into the reading now. Oh my gosh, y'all. These mosquitoes are crazy out here. <laughs> I might be just going through this really fast because of that reason. Sorry, y'all. I did not have mosquito spray. Uh, okay. Now I align myself with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit Hecate. Please communicate the truth to me through these cards so that I may be guided for the highest good of all. Thank you. Let's mode it be. Please give us your divine guidance for this September 1st dark moon and solar eclipse. Let us know the energies that we are working with so that we can make decisions for our highest good, for our greatest success, greatest joy and empowerment. Thank you and so be. first card that we have is the Queen of Coins. So this brings the energy uh, to focus on from ourselves um, of protection, protecting your good fortune. So that matches right away with the eclipse being in Leo, okay? This is the energy of protecting your own good fortune. So, uh, what's limiting your power right now? What relationships, what situations are blocking you and draining your energy and your power? 
you need to focus on dealing with those issues, okay? Focus on protecting your good fortune. Because it's only whenever we take care of ourselves that we're able to help others and contribute to the world, okay? The next card that we have is the Hearthstone. And this is the card of... Uh, this is a unique card in this actual, actually in this deck. It does not exist in other tarot decks. Um, but what it represents is pretty much the energy of your physical life, okay? So basically, the present energies are supportive of getting your physical life in order and getting your your physical self empowered so that's gonna have to do with the structure of your life your home life your finances your work your personal relationships and all of that uh, which makes sense to the eclipse and all of that so the next card which is the crossing card is the Sun and this is telling me that we need to be very wary of who we're giving our energy to. The sun is the card of kind of being supportive and nurturing, like how the sun nurtures all life on earth. Uh, when it comes to people, it's like, that's the energy that you give to others, okay? The, uh, the support, the nurturing, and all of that. Well, in the crossing position, it's letting me know that there might be some places where we're giving energy and we're not receiving anything back in return. Whenever you're giving to someone and you don't receive anything back in return, you're basically in a psychic vampire relationship, okay? Or, or situation going on there because you're being drained. Now, um, that disempowers you. That's taking your life force, okay? You need to have equal return I mean, there's always going to be t uh, times when someone can't give back as much as you're giving them. But if they're not giving you anything back at all, I mean, you've got to start questioning yourself of what is that relationship uh, really doing in your life, okay? Um, now, the basis or beneath us is the Eight of Swords. So... It's almost as if you're your own worst enemy with the situation. Uh, don't let indecision block you. There might be some things that you are, are resisting change in for whatever reasons. And uh, it's basically just saying that your only um, obstacle with this is your own... I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Vesta is clawing at my sliding glass door. I think she wants out here, but I'm not going to let her out. But, um, you have the power of choice. Don't ever forget that. And so you're creating, I mean, basically you created the entire situation that you're in right now. And you have the choice and the power to basically dismantle it and create something new if that's what you choose. So don't lose track. I mean, don't lose touch with that power. And just be aware that it is your choice. Now, in the past, we have the Nine of Wands. So, it kind of seems like actually things are going to be, start becoming easier. Because the Nine of Wands is about self-discipline and self-mastery. So, I can see that we have all taken strides. We've made efforts. To start making changes, uh, like I said, the eclipses bring changes exoterically outside of you, and you're kind of, that's the as above part, and then as below is when you start making changes uh, with those kind of greater life forces changes, if that makes sense. So, because of that, kind of a period of hardship is coming to an end. Now, crowning us is the Three of Coins. So this is a card of going towards 
your passions and how when we do what we're passionate about, it's almost as if uh, everything just falls into place automatically, okay? Like, when you focus on doing what you love, on building and creating what you love in life, uh, the right people notice, if that makes sense. And you will start to draw and attract to you what's for your, what's for your benefit, okay? So this card is just letting you know, uh, keep going towards keep trying to manifest keep working towards whatever it is that your goal is that's in line with your passions and what you love to do and certain relationships and new people will come into your life that will actually help you along that path so with once again with a reminder of this card don't let your own indecision to let go of past relationships block you, okay? It's only when we create a void by letting go of certain things that new things can enter because it's where we put our focus. Where our, was our, Where is our energy going? Okay? And the future is the Knight of Coins. So this is about slow and steady progress. So this kind of goes along with the past card, you've already been making and taking steps, making decisions, uh, planning and making strides or whatever. And so the future is a continuance of that. Like I said in the past readings, the eclipse season, uh, it is a season. So there's three eclipses right now. This, The one that this reading is about is the, the middle eclipse. And on the full moon on September 16th, we have another lunar eclipse, okay? So, this time of transformation is profound. It is long-lasting. And there's lots of shifts and energies going on. And it is slow and steady progress. So, just be aware of that. Stay determined. Stay focused. And you will see advancement. But as with all things of the earth element, it is slow, okay, and steady. So, um, just be aware of that. We probably won't see the true culmination of all of these transformations until after the September 16th eclipse. Um, probably towards the end of September itself. Okay. Now... Temperance comes up in the advice position. And so this card is telling us that kind of exactly what I was just saying. Transformations are still underway. So be adaptable. Be changeable. Don't be, don't make anything set in stone right now because we are in a period of transformation and transition. So don't try to cling to any certain way of being. Don't try to cling to any... Um, don't... <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that in the background. Don't try to cling to anything, any choices that you're making right now because you still are in the decision-making process. Okay, so just be aware of that as well. We need patience right now. Um, for the influences position... We have the Seven of Coins, and so this card's about staying patient once again. Um, slow and steady progress once again, as we saw with the future position of the Knight of Coins. This is about tending to your life's work, to your goals, uh, with diligence, with patience, but with uh, persistence. And trying to avoid being frustrated over the fact that it is going slowly, okay? Kind of try to enjoy the fact that your life is like a garden that you're tending to, okay? Enjoy the process of working towards your goals. And also speak that others are paying attention to that and the right people will be drawn to you because of your hard work and because of your good work, okay? Um... Now, the next card is the Two of Swords, and this is in the position of goals. 
we need to seek balance during this time, even though things are like extremely volatile, uh, volatile, changeable, and transforming and stuff like that. There is a need to seek balance because of that, okay? So you might have to uh, make compromises and truces with other people. Your relationships are changing and transforming, and because of that, you might have to uh, seek compromise and kind of make deals and stuff to keep things balanced. That's the main energy I'm getting with that. Um, and then as the final outcome card is the King of Wands. So this is an energy of very much similar to the Sun card energy. Um, it's about kind of being supportive and nurturing others and a fatherly kind of like parent parental type energy way but it's also about acting toward acting dynamically towards your goals okay so this is the time to kind of be the game changer in your own life uh make moves make your power moves make your moves for success that you um haven't in the past or maybe that you could not because of the way things were now that we're in such a transformational energy it frees us up to you know make moves that we weren't able to the, uh, previously in this year okay so overall with this energy it's very much aligned with the eclipse itself uh, being in Leo kind of let either let things end that are trying to end and I mean you'll know your intuition will tell you if it's not like blatantly obvious you know intuition or not there are certain things that are trying to end in your life right now and you need to let that happen certain relationships certain situations and you need to let that happen and not only that uh, don't focus on what's ending. Focus on what you do want. Okay, now, in the time of destruction, where things are ending, in the time of death, in the time of expiration, in the times of danger, there is also opportunity, okay? Doors open during that time because of those endings. So, uh, it seems like this whole reading is saying focus on what doors are opening for you right now don't focus on what's ending don't try to cling to it don't try to hold on to it and I feel like I'm repeating myself with the past readings uh, but you know that's what happens that's just the energy that's predominant right now and that's why it keeps uh, showing in the readings and the astrology matches it and all, all that focus on the doors that are opening for you right now and if you don't see um, if there's not an obvious doorway that's opening for you right now, then maybe those doorways are internal. Maybe, uh, you need to be the one that creates and opens new doors and paths for yourself, okay? Because we have the energy of acting dynamically with things that you weren't able to do before. So, I hope this reading helps you. Um, very much in a time of empowerment right now, but it's the empowerment of the self. So, really, don't don't focus so much on relationships, okay? Don't focus so much on uh, outside influences. Focus on the empowerment that you're getting right now. Um, if you need to be angry with something, be angry because that's uh, that's kind of self-love in, it, in its own way because you're acknowledging your own self. And, uh, you know, anger doesn't come up for no reason. So let that drive you. Let that empower you. Um, obviously, don't be, you know, foolish with those emotions. Let them, just let them run their course. It exposed to you where things need to change or where you need to change how you're dealing with things. Okay. Um, this video is about to end because I have the 20 minute time limit. So uh, I hope this reading helps you. Blessed be. If you need a private reading with me, if you just can't figure out your own intuition, get in contact with me and we can do that. 
Hope you all have a lovely eclipse. Blessed be.